guys, God bless. Welcome back to my channel. I am Charlene and yeah, <laughs> um, this message keeps coming in different forms and fashion. And I was even just sitting here like, oh, it's right here on my desk. And it's like, it's not only coming to me, but it's coming to those around me. And it's like, we could never, ever get too tired of hearing this because we need to hear it. So I have my prayer card here and the scripture on it um, for now, which I didn't change it because I want to keep looking at it uh, throughout the week and meditate on it and pray about it and just try to grill it in my mind and my heart. And that scripture is James 4 and 10. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. And this is the New Living Translation. I'm not sure what translation that is. If you know, comment down below because they aren't labeled. But um, I grabbed my New Living Translation because I like to look at it again somewhere else. And this one says, humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up in honor. And I think that is so important because honoring from the perspective of what God does versus ourselves and our peers, totally different. Um we have a lot of scripture to let us know that we need to keep going. We need to keep fighting. We need to keep pushing that there's a finish line and that um, our grand prize is eternity, which is unmatched. There is nothing on this world that will equal that. Like no temporary gain, no temporary feeling of satisfaction. Nothing can compare to eternity with the father. And we ought to remind ourselves of that. And we also should remind ourselves that God gives graciously and he gives honor like no one else. Um, I would like to direct um, you guys to even Solomon when he was dealing with Solomon. Solomon, what it is that you want? He said, Lord, please give me great wisdom and knowledge. And God said, because you were humble enough to ask for this and you didn't ask me for a thousand cattle or land and material things, I'm going to give you both. That was such an amazing thing. And that just keeps selling in me. I was like, Lord, you will take care of me and you can take care of my kids and generations to come. Remember what he told David. Remember what he told Israel or Abraham, like, listen, this is not just for you. This is going to expand beyond you. And that is my prayer that not only that God gives me wisdom, but I'm able to instill it in my children and then their children and their children. And we just have a long line of wisdom because wisdom will get you much more further than any material thing. And I just thank God for continually humbling me because it's necessary. Um, I don't, well, I don't know. God knows my true intent in my heart, but I would like to think that I'm not going right here saying I'm smart. I'm smart. I'm wise. I'm wise. I know the Bible. I don't do that, but you never know how, your conversation can come off to someone or even in these videos. And I try my best to be as humble as possible and not to say anything out of the way. Um, Y'all just continue to pray for me, pray for the ministry, pray for YouTube, um, that I can continue to do this. And I thank God for this opportunity. So now that we have read the scripture here, I do have my notes. I did highlight it amongst all the crazy highlights before. I discover pastel and soft colors that I was using whatever I had, y'all. <laughs> but anywho, let's tone it down with this page, right? Um, observation. God wants us to remain humble. It is better for him to lift you up than yourself. And man, the honor given by God can't be measured or compared. And I just said that. Um, like I said, even with, um, there's another scripture that says, um, if you do something, in recognition from man, like that is your reward. Like if they're able to say, ha, huh, you gave to the poor or you were a blessing here or you did this. Oh my goodness. They're out in the public praying. Da, da, da. Like, look at them. Like, wow. He said, surely that is your reward. Yeah, like your recognition from man, since you did it for man and in front of man, that's all you get for that. But whatever you do in secret that only I know, you will be blessed and God will lift you up. For all those praying prayers that you did for people, um, maybe you give to organizations nobody knows about. Like, think about all the things you do that nobody never ever sees. And sometimes we get frustrated in those situations, right? Where we do so much and we're just like, God, 
I know you see this, but these people are like, I don't even do nothing for them. Or they're like, I didn't do this, especially in marriage. Think about us as women, like we do so much for our kids and for our husbands. And there is always that moment of frustration, like, oh God, I know you see, but can they act like they see? <laughs> can they act like they know that I get up every day at 6 a.m. and I don't go to sleep till 1, 2 o'clock in the morning? Can they act like they know that? <laughs> but anywho, um, application. I need to be humble and remain that way. That's myself. Like, I need to re be reminded to be humble through this scripture and through this moment right now. I need to continue to walk in humility. Um, God has done a pretty good job externally making sure that happens. But, you know, sometimes, even no matter, we can have nothing and still think we're better than somebody else, right? That that can easily happen. And then some some material thing or some specific thing can make you say, ha, I'm better than you. Which is, let me tell y'all something. This is what I do often. I often look for small YouTubers, like those who literally just started. And I will subscribe to them and I will encourage them. I will leave a message, um, letting them know like I watched it or whatever. Um, sometimes I even share it. And I do that because I don't ever want to forget where I started. And I don't even like calling them small YouTubers because in the world of Christianity, we're not like the world. Um, where there is one or two gathered, God is there. You know what I'm saying? So even if the YouTube channel is just 50 or 25 or 10 or 5, and those people watching and they're gathering in the name of the Lord, God is with them, you know? So not only small in quantity, but not in mightily, right? Prayer. I ask that you pray this prayer with me. Lord, forgive me for not being humble. Help me to be as humble as Jesus. He served. He washed feet. Have mercy on me. I thank you for grace for times when I'm prideful or puffed up. Please continue to make me holy in Jesus' name. Amen. That is my prayer today. That's my prayer every day. I ask that God continue to make me humble. I used to pray on a regular, but then I was talking to my husband one day and he said, you're asking God to humble you? <laughs> Do you know what you're asking? And I said, okay, God, just please make sure I don't get prideful. <laughs> so the prayer changed a little bit because, you know, you want to be careful about how you pray things. But I know that God knows my heart. Um, but obviously when you know better, you do better. So my prayer has changed. Like, Lord, help me to not be prideful. Help me to not be arrogant. Um, help me not to be self-centered and self-absorbed. Help me to continually to look upon his people, my sister and brother in Christ, and look for a need um, or a way to encourage and inspire. Um, and that's why I have this channel to do those things. And I just pray that God continue to use me. And I thank God for each and every one of you. Please continue to pray for me and my household. I'm praying for you guys. There's um, moments where I sit here and I gaze out and I'm like, oh, my subscribers. <laughs> And I pray and I thank God for y'all. Like I'm I'm even humbled through what you guys have done with your giving and uh, whether it be Bible donations, stickers, highlighters, whatever it is, um, monetary blessings. I thank God for each and every one of you because you guys, you guys have blessed me beyond what you have seen. Like only if I had the time of day, like I could tell y'all that, well, I, I mentioned to some of you guys that some of you guys blessings have came right on time where uh, whether I was down and out or I felt like giving up or um, to realistically, um, some of you use monetary blessings. Like literally, I was like, God, I ain't got it. <laughs> and then you guys bless me. And please, I'm not saying that. So somebody can say, oh, let me send something to. First of all, please talk to God about that. I'm not asking nobody for nothing, 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 nothing at all. I ask that you ask God, Lord, where do I sow? Um, I even have been asking God lately myself, like, this is a new year. I want to start something. God, where do I sow? I want to never feel like I'm too good or too great. And I forget about those resources or those things that I could be pouring into or blessing, you know? So y'all be praying for that as well. Like where to be a blessing. Um, cause there's two different, there's two types of people, people who say, um, well, I give my money to the church and that's enough, right? They don't think twice about nothing else out there going on. And then, um, there's people who say, well, I'm helping these people and then they don't give to the church. I feel like they're both wrong. Um, God gave us 
um, the church, the building, the structure for us to meet and gather. And just as in the Bible days, people did their part, whether it's somebody brought wood or somebody brought flowers or oil or the sacrifice, like everybody had a part rate. Right? And our, obviously, moderately, we money does all that stuff for us. So I hate when people say, well, all they want is money. Like you, all you, what you use is money. Like you use money to keep your lights on, you use money to pay your water bill, you use money to buy groceries. Like what's the difference? Um, just use wisdom, just use wisdom. And I truly thank y'all. God bless y'all for having this little study with me. Um, it is a pleasure to have Bible study with you all. And I love sharing with y'all and I'm excited about reading my word and just fellowshipping and just expressing what I've experienced as I go through the word of God. Love you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.